Welcome back to the Getting Started with OpenScope MZ video series. I'm Sam Kristoff from Digiland, and in this video, I'll introduce you to triggers. In Waveforms Live, I'll click my OpenScope MZ to set it as the active device and navigate to the instrument panel. All the trigger configurations are done in the top right of the controls panel. At the very top, I have single and run. If I click single, Waveforms Live tells the OpenScope MZ to arm the trigger with the current settings and wait for the trigger condition to occur. When the trigger condition occurs, the OpenScope MZ acquires a buffer of data and returns it to Waveforms Live to display. At that point, the OpenScope MZ goes back to the idle state. And the state is indicated right here below the run and single buttons. When I click run, Waveforms Live tells the OpenScope MZ to arm the trigger with the specified settings and wait for a trigger to occur. When the trigger condition occurs, the OpenScope MZ acquires a buffer of data and returns it to Waveforms Live. In run mode, the trigger is immediately rearmed after a successful acquisition. So for example, if I click single, we can see a single buffer of data is acquired and the device returns to idle. And you can see it's only armed for a fraction of a second. If I click run, we can see that the device is continually rearmed, and you can see that my data buffer is continuously updated. In the trigger section, I can set the trigger type to rising edge, falling edge, or off. By default, it's set to a rising edge. The source is set to oscilloscope channel one, and the level is set to 500 millivolts. You can see in the chart, the green line indicates where the trigger occurred and the green arrow indicates the trigger threshold. So we can see that the trigger occurred when the signal crossed from below our 500 millivolt threshold to above it. And we can see data that happened before the trigger and data that happened after the trigger condition. If I change the trigger to one volt and hit single again, You'll notice now the trigger condition occurs when the signal crosses the one volt mark rather than the 500 millivolt mark. Similarly, I can change from a rising edge trigger to a falling edge trigger. If I hit single, you'll see that now the trigger occurs when the signal goes from above our one volt threshold to below it. So when it crosses that threshold from above, that's when our trigger condition occurs. If I set the trigger to off, the OpenScope MZ will acquire data as soon as I click single without waiting for a trigger condition to occur. And you'll see it could occur anywhere in our signal. If I set this trigger's threshold too high and enable an edge type and click single, you can see that my trigger is armed, but it will never trigger because my threshold is too high it's outside the range of my signal. In this case, I can either click abort to abandon the acquisition, or I can cl click force to force it to acquire without a trigger. If I change the trigger source to logic analyzer, I have more configuration options. Each channel in the logic analyzer can be set to a rising edge, a falling edge, both rising and falling, so it will trigger if either of these occurs, or off. The logic analyzer triggers if any of these trigger conditions are met. You can set them each per channel, or you can set every channel to say, I want the logic analyzer to trigger on any rising edge, any falling edge, any edge at all, or off. And that does it for the basic overview of triggers with Waveforms Live and the OpenScope MZ.